How's it going guys? Today I thought I'd give you an update on the Boyd's Forest Dragons because there hasn't really been a dedicated video to them in quite a while. So these guys are doing really good. They're over a year old now and they're looking amazing. They've really developed well. Their enclosure's slowly getting more stuff done to it. I'm going to be changing around some branches soon in the future, see how it looks. But am adding in some more plants. I just put recently a bunch of moss down the back. We'll see if it grows. I'm also going to possibly be getting a larger light on top which will aid in the plant growth. I'll be putting some actual proper plants in there, not just mosses when that happens. I recently just topped up the bottom of their enclosure with a bunch of leaf litter because all the other stuff I put in originally has already broken down. That's by the, uh, probably most likely by the springtails. Just gets broken down over time, puts more nutrients in the soil which will really help the plants when I finally get them in there. So one of the things I love about setting these guys up is that they come from rainforests so it's really easy to do a bioactive setup for them. As you'll see I'll dig in the bottom here and you can find little bugs crawling around and they just eat all the waste that the animals produce. Makes care way easier and just gives you more time to enjoy the animals. So whenever I talk to people about reptiles they always tell me how cool they think my forest dragons are. And uh, I can see why. They're just amazingly beautiful creatures. So for the boys themselves, the female who's over here, she's doing really good. They're both pretty lazy at the moment, but um, they're supposed to be because it's winter. So yeah, winter time really slows them down, but they're still eating, still move around sometimes. They, they do often spend a lot of time on just one branch or so. That branch I got her from, she spent like the last week on there, barely moved. But yeah, they're doing good otherwise. These guys don't need any heat over winter. Or when they're this age anyway. So they just sit there and chill out. So that's the girl. We'll put her back. Then the male is up the top here. He's been loving the UV light lately. If I can get him down. He doesn't like being held as much as the girl, but... He's still awesome, as you can see. Doesn't have the brightest colours right now. He's sort of in shed, sort of half in shed. But nevertheless, he still looks awesome. So these two have been pretty interesting lately. I uh, recently found out they can actually breed in their first year. I thought they had to breed in their second year. They can do it just fine in their first year. And uh, yeah, they've been showing some breeding behaviour, which I'll show you now. They're sort of chasing each other around a bit. The boy wants some action. So, uh, yeah, I think they'll breed just as it warms up more. It'd be awesome to get some babies out of these guys. I've got their old setup down below here, ready for uh, babies if they have them. So, yeah, that'll be an interesting experience. Get some little baby dinosaurs. So, that's the two lovebirds there. The boy loves to jump on the shoulder like that. He likes being up high. <laughs> so because it's winter, I don't spray these guys down that much. So I'm trying to keep the humidity a bit lower. That lowers the risk of a uh, respiratory infection with the cold weather. But uh, I still spray them every now and then when the enclosures look a bit too dry, or whatever. Plus I spray them every day on their face just to uh, give them some hydration. So there's an update on the forest dragons for you guys. Hope you enjoy the video. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Give me video suggestions for the future. And I'll see you next time.